A special thanks to Vader 300 for bringing this to my attention, and thanks to all the people who asked for my opinion on this. Jeffrey Goldberg, a writer for the Atlantic Monthly Magazine, wrote in a blog that he asked Castro84 if Cuba's model, Soviet-style communism, was still worth exporting to other countries, and he replied, the Cuban model doesn't even work for us anymore. The comment appeared to reflect Castro's agreement, which he also expressed in a column for Cuban media in April, with his younger brother, President Raul Castro, who has initiated modest reforms to stimulate Cuba's troubled economy. Well, of course, uh, many in the bourgeois media uh, jumped and screamed with joy that finally Cuba has fallen. There, there, Castro finally admitted that communism doesn't work. Capitalism is the end of history and have, we have won the final battle. <laughs> I don't think so. The comment appeared to. Uh, is this what the right wing is calling proof Castro said communism doesn't work? Well, I for one would like to know what it is Castro was referring to. I would like to hear the entire conversation so I can hear the context in which he supposedly said that. Uh, can I have a source on the entire conversation? No, I cannot, because it doesn't exist. In typical right-wing fashion, they've taken something Fidel Castro said, if at all, out of context. Now, they've done this to Castro for decades, twisting his words in order to change what he said. Um... Uh, they are nothing but a history of lying. When the Soviet Union came to an end, they said that it would be the end of Cuba, or which it wasn't. Uh, during the special period, they never failed and continued to survive despite every attempt to destroy them. In 2002, it was claimed that Castro was the richest man in the world because he supposedly stole from state enterprises. Which is a stupid lie, considering that many American corporations are richer than the poorest 35 countries in the world combined, of which Cuba is one. So how could Fidel Castro be the richest man? Fidel said that if a single peso could be shown in a single bank account, that he would retire as president of Cuba. Eight years later, not one single person has come forward with any evidence whatsoever. This is nothing more than the continuation of the bullshit spouted by the right wing. But you know what? I'm going to continue to destroy this pathetic attempt to harm Cuba by Jeffrey Goldberg. Uh, this is what also was said. Castro also criticized his own actions during the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis when he urged the Soviet Union to launch nuclear weapons against the United States, telling Goldberg it wasn't worth it all. Well, I see another one of those context-twisting statements again. Oh, except this time it's an outright lie. Uh, it's a fact that Castro didn't want to launch a nuclear missile at the United States. Castro merely publicly stated that he was unafraid to in order to defend Cuba's revolution. In fact, it was Che Guevara who wanted to launch the nuclear weapons for the Bay of Pigs invasion. Uh, in my opinion, which isn't uninformed or complete bullshit, Castro was probably referring to, but we'll never know because it wasn't explained, threatening a possible nuclear retaliation for any invasion of Cuba by the United States. It probably was, wasn't worth it all, since the mercenaries got their asses kicked by the Cuban military. Goldberg, uh, you can tell the little right-wing fanatics what they want to hear all you want, but you cannot fool those to see the truth, and do not believe your blatant lies.